Recently we received a critical update for the Tally for H500. To upgrade to H500 is easier than expected. First, you only need the USB cable provided with the H500. You may need to know if you have a 32 or 64 bit operating system. If you do not know it, one simple way is go to your folders, select computer, right click and view properties. Next, download the firmware files from IUAS or Wakira website. Since we use zip and PDF files, we download our firmware at iuasinc.com. No LiPo battery is required for this upgrade, but it is still always recommended that you remove your propellers for safety. Move the driver files and the Serial Angel Assistant tool to your desktop or folder by dragging them or extracting the files. If this is the first time you are connecting your H500 with this USB port, you will be prompted to install the Arduino Mega Drivers for a new hardware found. Follow the instructions. Depending which operating system you have, it may look slightly different. However, the main objective is to manually locate the drivers included, install them if your computer is not able to locate the drivers automatically, click yes if prompted to search for the new hardware drivers. A Windows message, device drivers software installed successfully will appear when you have completed the installation. A unique COM port number will be assigned to your computer. Next, select Serial Angel, right click and run the software. If warned about the compatibility of this software, click continue anyway. Once the connection is established, you will see a message that says H500 version number is found. Step 1. Browse through your folders to locate the files you downloaded. Select the firmware file and click on the upgrade button. When the progress bar reaches 100%, your new firmware has been updated. Only if required, select the config tab and on the right panel, download action, browse, click the download button for your new EEPROM config file. You are almost done, but your upgrade is not fully implemented until you complete your final step. Complete a compass calibration and allow the model to complete its auto calibrations. If you find your model is tilting during takeoff, disconnect your battery, reconnect and repeat the calibration a second time. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Subscribe and see you the next time. Now a short preview of our previous FPV Epic Music Projects.